double five does it for uh, Schultz in the end. And I suppose having made such a brave attempt at that uh, wonderful, wonderful one four five, yeah, we've got to give him credit, haven't we? And uh, Marble could have broken throw early. That's the importance of that, really. Yeah. Break the throw first leg and get a two leg advantage early in the game helps to settle down, I'm sure. Well, I, I think it's fair to say that, that Marble is, is such a bubbling character that if he gets ahead, that lifts his game. Psychologically, it's good for him to be out front and banging them in. He's not such a good uh, chaser as he is a front runner. It was here last year where he was well in front, wasn't he? In one game, 105. Uh, and these are good darts, these are very, very steady darts. This wonderful crowd here in Blackpool. It has to be said that uh, because the weather has been so pretty dark in Blackpool as well as elsewhere, in fairness, not so bad here as elsewhere. Blackpool isn't exactly booming, but this darts competition, there seems to be more people in here than on the streets, John. 137. Yep, very quiet, considering it's July, but not in here, in the Empress Paul Room, in the Winter Gardens, it's a real wonderland. The fun frolics and the serious stuff on the stage, the arrow flinging, as Marble looks to get on the way by his first leg tops will do him 26 surely he'll be back Roman although you can never be absolutely certain when players of this caliber are on the stage now he knows he'll be back 45 double top from Marble he's got to gobble up this kind of finish Game and he does second leg. Got the adrenaline going there as Mr. Marble. He's pumped up, as they say. Shorten, as you said, Dave, far more phlegmatic. You will hardly be able 40. to see. He just scratches his head when he yeah. drops out. No real display of emotion. I'm sure inwardly it's there. 95. You always seem so casual. You're absolutely right. We just watch this unusual angle. As you see, the dark hit the treble five segment. But Sholton has as much passion for the game and appetite for the game as any man. He, he just covers up his emotions. Be a hell of a poker player, John. <laughs> 60. Yes. Gives very little away. And as he said in his interview with Ellen Chamberlain, he. Would much 60. rather this were clean, quick and clinical. Get Marble out of the way. Never mind the fun, never mind the excitement, never mind the brinkmanship. He says, I'd rather 60. win with something in hand and get through wow. to the third round. And who can blame him? Marble had a real chance there of stealing the throw. Didn't really take full advantage. 41. Got a great chance now. 14 ahead. And these so effectively Marble with the advantage and how 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 another one of those trebles <laughs> 100. well even so Dave you've got a fancy uh, 186 against 300 Marble perhaps to break here should be down at the double first and the match 100. of this closeness that is the doubles that are going to count, and uh, that's that drift that so often afflicts Marble's fortunes. 85. You mentioned how close they were in the rankings together, uh, eight and nine respectively, Marble and Scholten in that order, and their averages from their first round games are also very close. Marble 89.38 against Dudbridge, and Scholten 90.58, just 0.8 between them as Marble attempts. 101, 82 left. He went for treble 14. I don't blame him. He wants top 61. And he almost got it. I think with two darts, treble 14 is the 100. way to go. And so does Mr. Marble as Shulton looks at a ton. And now looks at double top and has the marker. Has he the finish? Yes. He has. Yes. Oh, 
holding his throw. But only just, and Marvel just can't wait to get back onto the hockey and start hitting scores. Bruce Fenley, the referee caller, calling the shots. And Sheldon is 2-1 up. It is, as we anticipated, a tight, tense encounter. And yet Marble has had an attempt to win all three legs. He could have broken the throw in the first leg. He could have broken the throw in that leg. Uh, it's 2-1 to Schulten. It could so easily have been 3-0 to Marble. It could not have been 3-0 to Schulten. Although it, it, he's uh, not far behind. The average is at the moment 88 for Marble. Well behind on that score, Schulten. Round about 75. Thirty. Got to pick up from there. That won't help. But uh, Shelton's checkout percentage is double. Success rate double that of Mardell's. 55. Very early market sample. It's a long way to go, as you mentioned, John. It's now up to 25 legs. So first to 13. This match will have time to mature and gain an impetus and momentum. It will swing, and either of these players, if they have the ability to find a very special little piece of magic, then that could carry them past the checkered flag. 135. Yeah, another pants of the lot there, but again, just that little drift over into the five, but even so, 135. You must hit more 135s than 125s, I would think, rather than any other player on the scene. That goes for 85s and 95s as well. Now then, 112 left. Needs the trouble 20 here. 47. Only 47, but he's in command of this leg. But if Shulton should hit 180, it would certainly wrap out a reminder that he's out back. And that's just the kind of shot to put the Frighters on Marble. He knows he's got to hit the 72 now. Shorten's resting on double 16. 20 for tops. This is important. 52. Not convincing on tops. He went for the double 12 to leave his favourite double 18. So a chance for a break and well earned. And yes, what a wonderful, okay. wonderful finish for that leg by Shorten. I'm not referring Fifth just to the 32, to but the 171 which preceded it. I'd written him off almost. It was Mardell in command as far as I was concerned, and then Shulton produced two treble twenties, treble 17, and clinically, cleanly hit the double 16. That's Only professionalism, one. Dave. Yeah, and it's on those kind of moments that these kind of matches pivot. And I won and lost. Mardell goes screaming in there. His second, you might expect. A lot in this game. Marble hit five against Udbridge in his first round match, and this man, Shulton, admittedly had eight legs more. It was a 24 legger his first round game. 13 11, but he hit 10 1 80s in that uh, match. And uh, we come to expect it from Shulton, don't we? Well, it's fair to say 180 is 30. his signature shot. He is a specialist at it. And he could do a one right now. Not always the uh, best shot because, as he proved, 171 was very productive last time. Far better than 180 would have been. 78. <laughs> 32, and he got it. Mind you, every player would take two every leg, John. Oh, they? absolutely, <laughs> yes, yes, you did right. Like that, for instance. So Marble will be anxious to take this leg. He doesn't really want to go in to the end of the first session. 4-1 down, 3-2 sounds that much more healthy. 140. 140 from Marble, 140 from Shelton, but Marble it is with a chance of a break. Oh, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. I think 35. that discernibly was in the red bit. And you'll see how the previous dart just did enough to deny it. The anchorage it was looking for. 105. 116. Wants the treble now and he wants it to stay in there. And it does in double 18. He loves it over here. But not on this occasion. Shulton in with a chance. Of grand larceny in the leg again. Well, I reckon the story of this first session is Marvel letting Shulton off the hook too many times. He's 3-1 up, yes, he's 4-1 up, Shelton now against Marble, and Wade Marble can't 